What's going on everybody? It's Shay and we are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be checking out Stafford County, Virginia. Um, I think that's how you say it. It has an X in Stafford, but uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. Um, I was recommended to check out this game. Uh, I did see somebody else do a little video on it, so I figured I would check it out myself. Um, and I do recognize this lobby building here. This is from like the OG Brawly map. You can see it right here from Nate. He was Nate and New Crew were both uh, owners of Brawly. I don't know. Uh, I don't think they still own it. But uh, here's Tiny the Gamer. He's currently owning this game. Uh, developer at NBC. Um, so we're just gonna check it out. Uh, I love checking out new games that I haven't played. Okay. So we have a. Looks like a service center here. Uh, this is a C2 that I think is already spawned in. Out of service, yeah. Okay, so let's see what they got. I think it might only be C2s. We'll check. Okay, that's not... <laughs> Wait, that's an activity bus. Oh, nice. I think it's an activity bus. Let me check. Yeah, it is. Nice. That looks really good. Hold on, let's take a look at that. That looks... Pretty good. Very nice. Uh, I think it's kind of your stock Gen X C2, I'm pretty sure. Go ahead and take a look inside. This won't be the bus we're driving, but uh, got the shifter there. Um, nice ceiling, the AC. Uh, pretty much the same C2 that Brawly uses, I'm pretty sure. So. Let's spawn in an actual bus here. So this is out of Virginia. Uh, they still have Michigan plates, but uh, it is what it is. You got the uh, uh, reflection tape here. Uh, pretty cool. Cross, cross arm. Um, Huxley tires. And let's see. Yeah, no, so this is like a newer C2, I'm pretty sure. You got the uh, little, uh, what do you call this again? The, uh, my goodness, I can't even think. Okay. Uh, suggestion, move the driver's seat, or not the driver's seat, but the, uh, the little invisible block here, you want to move it up because I can't see in first person, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I notice a lot of these games have the... Their, their C2 gauges are still messed up from the Union update that Roblox did a long time ago. Uh, so if any of you Hux... or not Huxley, Gen X owners have a C2 and it's the gauges are still messed up like that... I would definitely recommend fixing those because I know they're not supposed to be that thick. The needles right there, they're definitely not. Um, so, there's the lights here. Got the child checkmate. Uh, we got a camera here on the back. What is that white thing right here? This is this a separate camera or? I don't know. But we'll go ahead and get moving here. So it says we need to go this way. Man, I almost want to, I want to drive in first person, but I can't. We'll go ahead and turn the interior lights on. Not a big fan of these trees right here. I like all the other ones, but these, when they kind of clip into each other, don't look the greatest. Um, so let's kind of check out the map here. Uh, you got a good visual of the lot right there. Pretty nice looking lot. Bus lot. I don't know what's on top of this bus. I don't know what that is. Okay. So we got a black grill here. Just looking at the differences. Okay. we want to go over there? 
Now let's keep going straight. Man, I'm so tempted to drive in first person, but I can't. <laughs> um, something I've been thinking about doing is adding an intro to all of my videos. Um, but when I think of YouTube intros nowadays, I think of like back in 2015, 2016, where everybody had those like standard um, template intros for their channels. And I think moving forward, I think everybody just kind of dropped the idea of making intros. Uh, any intro that people use nowadays is more of like, uh, it's kind of like a subscriber reminder. Make sure to subscribe and stuff like that. So I might do something like that. Uh, but I need your guys' help on uh, what I should kind of do. I want to make like an intro that has something to do with fire and kind of like my Roblox avatar. If anybody knows any uh, intro editor makers out there, let me know. Definitely look into that. Kind of like the... Uh, the brick that they used here along the road. Okay. I'm also thinking about um, kind of changing the way I do my thumbnails. Uh, you guys know I put, for most of my thumbnails, I, I usually put the title in the thumbnail. I think I'm just going to do like a simple, nice edited picture of the, you know, screenshot or the bus that I'm using. And then I'll probably just put the, um, the game name on the uh, thumbnail or like the game group icon or something like that. I think that's what I want to do. Make it very simple because uh, I think... Okay, we're going to have to turn around here. I think when I put all that stuff on the thumbnail screen, it kind of just takes away from the actual title. So, but I only do that because uh, having a catching thumbnail that is pleasing to the eye is very important. Not a lot of people know that. Okay, we're going to take that little road over there. I kind of want to get a screenshot right here. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I don't know what this thing is on top of the C2. It's kind of annoying. Mm. I want to get a screenshot like this. This might work. Yeah. So it's probably going to be something simple with, I don't know if this game has like a group icon or something. Let me check real quick. Mm. They do, but it's like very basic, so I probably won't use it. I'll just probably put the title of the game in the thumbnail and that'll be pretty much it. So if my next few videos have like a uh, intro to them, I'm not saying they will, but if they do, know that I'm kind of just testing things out. So we'll see. And I know you can't put any music in them because before you could, you know, copyright wasn't such a big thing back then. But now it's like, if you play anything like that, that's copyrighted within like the first few minutes of the video, they're really going to, punish your video it's it's horrible honestly so if i were to add an audio it would have to be something um that's not copywritten and even if it is um it would allow me to still put it in the video you know because i don't make any money off of uh these videos i mean i could if i wanted to but i turn all my ads off but you know This would be a good screenshot too. Let's see. Hmm. Oops. My last Bus Simulator 21 video did pretty good. It got over a thousand views. 
uh, the one prior to that took a while to get a thousand, but it did eventually, I think. So, probably be on the lookout for another one of those videos. This game is good so far. I'm seeing a lot of similarities between this one and Fairfax, the one we just reviewed. Even though they're from two different owners, like I said, the group kind of shared the same assets. So, I wouldn't be surprised if both games are still in touch with each other. See the Jindis? Yeah, that map is actually the same. The same outline. Yeah, it most certainly is. Yeah, because I remember this is the uh, railroad that I had a hard time getting across. Weird. So do they just kind of share the same game, or... Is it kind of like NBC and ABC where we share the same map, but they kind of go their own route? We're going to pull in here. What is this? Primary school. <laughs> so in that case, we kind of know what's at the other end of the map. Oh, this is just a... <laughs> it's just a brick building. Do not enter. Okay. Mm. Honestly, I might put an intro on this video. I don't know. I hate to use like a free editor for an intro. I guess I could use the same edit editing software that I use to edit my videos, which is DaVinci Resolve, which is paid, but... You know, I guess I could use that. I'll have to look into it. This would be a good screenshot as well. Something like this. I like that one. Or even this one. That might be a good one too. I honestly like that one, the one that I just took. Okay, nothing to the right, just a trailer home. I have no idea where you, oh, clutch something. <clears throat> okay. I have no idea where you drop off at for this primary school. You drop off here? I guess you do, there's this staircase here, so. We'll just go ahead and do that. And then we'll just wrap up the video. Kind of a quick video, nothing too much. But yeah, uh, if you guys want me to do a follow up video on this game, um, let me know down below. Um, if you guys do wish to play the game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will get you guys next time. Peace.